Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Roy here again with you for another pro tip. This pro tip is going to center around your first fire of the day, how to start a forge for the first time. Um, this one's going to be a little different than ones I've done in the past. I'm going to just show you a alternative method. Usually, as I have omitted on camera, I just light it with a torch. I just get some coca going with the torch and then I just kind of close it over with some green coal or with some breeze, if you will, and then off and running I am, okay? So, so I heat usually with a torch, but I'm gonna show you an alternative method. Now, you've seen guys get real decorative with it and things like that where they cut and split kindling and they start with charcoal and they do all these other things in newspaper and newspaper donuts and all those things. And all those are good methods. You can start your forge however you like. Uh, this is just a nice alternative. Now, I use these blue shop towels that you can buy at any of the local hardware stores that you can get them at. Now, they're like a mechanics, you know, shop towel type deal. I use these things all the time in the shop to clean up various parts and fittings. And so I like to use, save these when I have them and just save them over in a bucket. And I use these to take and feed the center of my fire. I found that just a wad of these really goes a long way uh, to be able to start your first forge in the morning. So the first thing I do is I'll pull any of the breeze off the side. Watch out for spiders. I don't know if any of you saw that. Um, but uh, those are going to clear out too. And I just make a depression, realistically. It doesn't have to be a big depression. It's just got to be a small enough depression that you can get uh, that you can get this below surface level of the forge. Okay. And the next thing you'll do is you'll obviously light this. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you have enough green coal up here that you can smother this with because the green coal will light very quickly. Um, the breeze will go to coke and keep the fire going a lot quickly, uh, a lot faster if you have some breeze. That's this really lightweight, fluffy stuff that you get here, not the hard, dense stuff that comes after like this that is coke. So you want the breeze and green coal to start this fire with this method. So we're just going to light it in one area or the other. If you notice, I've left the forge dirty. I clean the fire as I forge, so it's really unnecessary. It's really unnecessary for me to have to take and uh, clean out the bottom of the fire pot and the dirt out of it and stuff. I, I don't really choose to do that because of that reason. It just, you know, it's, it's, it's dirty. It's going to get dirty again. I find it just a waste of time. Get this going here and just, you know, try to smother it if you can. Get a little green coal going over it. A little bit of the dust. And we're already off and running. So we don't have any flame yet. And you just want to take and feather this, okay? And you'll slowly start seeing more and more stuff catch. And as more and more stuff catches, you'll have more and more smoke. The thing that you want to look for to know that you really got the fire up and going is you'll start seeing the green coal put off sulfur. Um, or it'll put off that sulfurous smoke, which will be like a yellowish smoke. So this will have a yellowish tinge to it when it starts to bake and starts to get into a point where it's going to combust. It'll put off a yellowish smoke. So your job right now at this point is just to man the air. But you don't want to take and bring the air up so fast and so hard that it, you know, it blows out your fire. A lot of guys have a problem with this. They try to go too quick with this at the, at the onset and it ends up blowing out the fire. So once you start seeing some more smoke going, you've dumped on a good amount of green coal dust and green coal like so getting that smoke started, it's getting more and more, you can increase the airflow. The reason why you can start increasing the airflow now versus earlier is there's actually enough of light that you can start getting a hot ember. If you just increase the airflow earlier, you're just going to blow out your flames and your original embers. You're just going to cool them right off. So I'll just clip out here and I just keep cranking on this. This is basically like watching mud dry. It's basically the same thing. You're just going to keep this going until you get the first few flickers of flame. Now, if you notice that you're cranking harder, but you're not really getting airflow, that's probably a clinker or dirt or just ash, this type of ash stuff. 
is sitting down blocking your air grates. So after you get your first signs of flame coming up through, which there's a little bit back here, up, I don't know if you saw that, just that little flicker there, a flame, you can take your fire poker and poke right down to the bottom of the fire along the edges of the forge and lift up. See how that just puffed out a big dust cloud there? That's exactly what it was. It was just sitting down and stopping the airflow from coming through. So as long as you do this, you'll keep getting more smoke, and the more smoke you have, the better. Eventually that'll turn to the sulfur smoke, and then you'll have flame. So I'm gonna clip out, come back as soon as this is fully gotten a good flame to it so you're not watching like I have to watch mud dry. Okay, so we've got this up and going now. It was only a time of about five minutes here that's passed. Um, for you, it was just mere mortal seconds. But now, we've got our fire up to a point that it'll start consuming some of that smoke we've been putting off. And we're getting it to the point where we can actually start heating some steel. So as you can see, I don't have a lot of coal around my fire here. Uh, or hopefully you guys can see that, it's pretty hollow. I need to build this up with a lot of green coal all around this here and then so this way I can feed the center and then get that whole coke thing happening. But that right there we could go ahead and shove some metal in and we're up to our forging temps already. So that's good to go. You can see the camera's darkened out. It's gotten quite hot. For just a few seconds of cranking and stuff we can bring this piece of bar stock up to heat. Now, that's gonna be it probably for this video. Again, there's not much else to see here, but please comment down below how you like to start your coal forge, and maybe you can help other people that's in the comment section who are just beginning learn how to do it, and maybe take up your method and learn from each other. So please do that. If you like these videos and you'd like to support Jessica and I in our efforts to educate uh, in the blacksmithing community, please consider going over and checking out our website, blacksmithpdfs.com. If you'd like to purchase some power hammer plans or additional educational resources uh, to help you along your blacksmithing journey. So that's it for today. As always, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.